Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create these braids and tight updo for long hair. Beginning with the partings, first you need a rectangle on top of your head. Next, I separate the rectangle in two equal pieces, creating the middle parting. Next, I create the triangle on front. And the same to the another side. Then I tie all the partings and start to pray with the one piece. I spray some water for my hair so the braiding will be easier. Take a small piece of hair, separate the piece in three sections and start to move strands from side under to the middle. Then start to add hair from the side that is closer the middle parting. Then bring the another strand under. Then the another and add some hair again to that strand. Then under, under and add hair to the strand you just moved to the middle. Under, under, and add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. When you're creating this braid, it's very important that you pull the hair you add in further enough from the middle parting so the braid will follow the side of triangle. Once you added all the hair in, keep on braiding without addings. The braid is long enough when it reaches to the corner of the rectangle. Next, I repeat the same to the another side. Take a small piece of hair, share the piece in three, and start the braid. Add again hair only from the side which is closer the middle parting. So you need to pull the hair as further as possible from the middle parting inside the braid. When you pull the hair like this, the braid will follow the side line of the triangle. And again, once you braided all the hair in, keep on braiding until the braid reaches on the corner of the rectangle. Then I braid the side parts. Take again three strands of hair. I think this time it's more easier because I hold my hands like normally so I bring the hair in from the right side the strand I move always with the right hand so right under add hair left under 
don't add right under add here left under right under add here left under right under add here And when you get closer to the end of this braid, add the small braid inside the bigger one. Then continue the braid until the end. Remove the elastic from the small braid. And then I just continue braiding few stitches more so I can make sure that the braid will reach easily inside the updo and next I very surprisingly create the same braid to the another side only this time I add hair from the left side so always from the side that is closer the middle parting right under no addings left under Add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair. Keep on braiding. Again, when you are close to the end, add the small braid inside the bigger. Then finish the braid. And keep on braiding few stitches so the braid will reach inside the bun for sure. Then you need the ponytail, which includes all the braid and the hair. Then I use the big donut to create the bun. I'm starting from the back, take three strands and then start the braid. First you need just a regular braid, so the braid will reach at the feet of the donut. When the braid is long enough, start to add hair. Then just left over, right over, add hair. Left over, right over, add hair. Left over, right over, add hair. Left over right over add hair keep on repeating this pattern when you add hair in make sure that the pieces are small enough i personally like the braid about one and half around the donut so the sections you add in must be pretty small so the hair won't end on halfway remember also move the hair where you add in the forward while you're braiding so the hair will come directly out from the donut inside to the braid I think that my hair at least is that kind of type that it easily sticks and if I don't move the hair forward the addings will come some kind of curve 
and during the day it won't stay in that curve and then the bun will be pretty messy and not looking good. Once you added all the hair in, braid until the end of the hair, then secure the end with the elastic. And once you've done that, spin the end on the back. To get the long lasting result, you probably need a puppy pin for this. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. Have a great day.